Welcome back from the break. You're still watching the Morning Rush with me, Desmond. Okay, good answer. You can call me Desmond in this time, of course, here with Nanaya Tano Bwache. And we have a conversation coming up. We've got a very big man in the studio joining us this morning. Uh, that is Right Reverend Delafia Gome, the president of the Full Gospel Church International, the president of Oga. Quata, quata at the top <laughs> has joined us this morning. Uh, we're going to talk about an amazing event coming up. So let's get straight into it. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? Grace. Great. 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 Good to have you here. Now, Full Gospel Church International, I was even asking you a question just before we came on. Um, I mean, I thought it was a, a predominantly... Uh, no, I don't, I don't, <laughs> no, 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 no. But no. tell us about so the Full Gospel Church International. Mm. Um, well, taking us into history, mm. the missionaries came into the country, uh, we know, years back, yeah, and yeah. it was a wave. And they uh, brought about the Orthodox churches, the Presby, the uh, Methodists, the mm. Anglican, the yeah. Catholics, yes. After that wave uh, came the classical Pentecostals, and they are uh, the Apostolic Church, okay. the Christ Apostolic International, mm. the Pentecost, the Assemblies of God. Mm. And at the time of this wave, um, we have the independent Afri uh, African independent churches. Okay. And after that, we had a lot we call the town fellowships. They are not a church. They don't meet Sunday mornings, but people who have passion to pray mm. will, will gather and they have a leader. And uh, uh, Noka Bozo, yes. And Akabozo played a major role in that in the 70s, getting to the late 70s. Mm. So they were concentrating on the youth. SU came in and all that. Mm. So we don't have the new Pentecostals at that time, which okay. we call charismatic churches. Okay. Now, the founder of Full Gospel Church International mm. happened to worship as a presbyter at the Presbyterian Church on the Greenwich Meridian. Okay. It was a presbyter mm. there and operating in extreme, extraordinary gifts. And at that time, there is a saying, well, oh, Daniel, sorry, no, so, so, sorry. Mm. Okay. So he was um, going through those challenges of not being accepted. Now, he, he started those experiences around 1963 into 70s. And then out of that prayer movement, he started a prayer group and evangelistic association. And it, they just pray. They mm. go into communities to do evangelism, film shows and the rest. But when they hand over the souls they want to, um, the churches they meet in the community, yeah. people start complaining that, well, You've given us to this church and we've not been taken care of. So those pressures okay. made him feel like turning the prayer group and evangelistic association into a church. Okay. So 2nd February uh, 1978, mm. Full Gospel Church International was uh, outdoored okay. as the first independent charismatic church, church in Ghana. In the, okay. Okay. And out of those prayer moments, we have almost every leading charismatic pastor or founder in mm. Ghana went through that. Went through that, okay. Yes, you can mention all, almost all the names. Wow. So, those, they were young, they were in school, mm -hmm. and they were passionate. We call it the Site 21 Revival. Mm. Prayer was ongoing. They were being built up. Site 21 as in yes. Site 21? Yeah, okay. Site oh, 21, no, 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 yes. I'm a boy, so I yes. don't know. <laughs> So 21. Okay. So that was a hope of supernatural acts wow. in late 70s. Mm. So he became the first uh, president of Fugos for Fugoso. over 20 something years. Okay. And then um, his um, most reverend Emmanuel Ashon Mensa. Mm. And I was going to come to that, that um, being the first charismatic church you know, exactly. in the country, the person who led for this vision to come to fruition. Yes. Tell us about him, you know, why he, 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 he needs to be celebrated and hence even this memorial lecture. In Ghana, going into history about the charismatic move, mm. you cannot make, mention charismatism in Ghana without most Reverend Emmanuel Ashon Mensah, known to almost every church leader. Mm. 
Mm. Uh, he played a major role in the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council for many years. Okay. And um, he, he happens to be a founder of a charismatic church. Okay. And was the first to hand over power whilst alive. Mm. Uh, most revolutionary men are handed over power to the second generation mm. charismatic leader in the person of Bishop S. N. Mensa. Mm. Mm. Mensa. Yeah. He's very popular. Yeah. yeah, he's the second generation leader. But after handing over, he lived for 10 years before passing on in 2009. Mm. Yes, so Bishop Samuel Noy Mensa became the second leader of Ugosport Church International and currently have also handed over, even whilst alive, to me as the third generation leader. Mm. So I'm the third generation leader who took over from Bishop Essen Mensa um, last year. Okay. Yeah, so I'm in office for the one year. Now, most Reverend Ashon Mensa, because of his impact, his life in terms of missions and care for humanity, we felt after his departure, it's important we establish something in his legacy. Okay. So the memorial lectures five years ago started um, when uh, most uh, Reverend Ashon Mensa, um, Samuel Noy Mensa, mm -hmm. uh, yes, was president. So for the past five years, we've been running the Emmanuel Ashon Mensa memorial lectures annually. Okay. We pick a topic um, that resonates with the community we are in and try to bridge the gap between the church and the community. So over the years, we've handled various topics, Pentecostalism, its impact on society and all that. But this year, 2023, we will want to discuss the role of evangelism in building a creation care culture in the Ghanaian society. We look at the ecosystem and what is happening to our environment and the negative impact and the dangers even in our backyard, the galamse, the rubbish and all that. So we felt it's important as a church, we connect the community to this message. If God created the world and handed it over to us, why then do we destroy it? Mm -hmm. We must clearly understand our role in society. If he gave it to us, we should protect it. So we bring on board tick tanks okay. who will highlight the importance of caring for the environment. Creation care is caring for the environment. So we are bringing on board think tanks who will lead us through um, this topic. And then, you know, the church, Ghana is mostly religious. Higher percentage of our people are religious. They are under the umbrella of the Christ, other Christian, Muslim, or the traditional religions. So every week we have the chunk of the Ghanaian sitting under a leader who teaches, who advises, who guides. Mm. So the church becomes a higher platform if we want to talk about the environment. If we understand our role in the environment as Christians or as religious leaders, then it's easy to communicate the ideals that will help protect the environment using the church as a platform mm. to get down to the people. If majority of us are religious, then the message of protecting the environment, if it resonates with the religious community, it will be easy for people to pick it up. So okay. we want to really build from that point through this lecture. Okay. It's not only just the lecture. Out of the lecture will come projects uh, that will help maintain the environment. And most of our new churches that will be coming up will be under the brand name Echo Churches. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So what is this lecture happening? Uh, 28 May, the last Sunday of um, the month, which is Sunday, okay. 3 p.m., at the Full Gospel Church International, mm. the Katrina Mensa Chapel Committee 12. Okay. okay. That's one of our branches. Mm. And that's where the lecture will be coming on. Uh, Reverend Dr. Blasu, who is in charge of the Creation Care Center at the okay. Emmanuel, uh, that's um, Acrofi Christ Life Center. Mm. Yes, he will be taking us through the lectures. Okay. And Professor Philip Lai, who wrote on Ephraim Amu okay. extensively, yeah. will be the chairman. Okay. And we're also expecting, as it's about the environment, so we're also expecting the Minister of Environment, environment. to grace the occasion. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then out of that, I think uh, we will have a project focusing on the environment. Okay. 
That's we, a, we can start small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> sure, that's that's a, that's a great thing that you know um, the churches are getting into society. Yeah, yeah. yeah. not just about going to church and the spiritual benefits mm -hmm. of it, but also. <laughs> Physically, yes. You know, um, so it's twenty eighth. That is um, May Sunday. Just yes. Sunday. Yes. Sunday. Sunday. Hey, the, hey. So <laughs> May is coming to our end. So this Sunday, twenty eighth May, three p.m. Yeah, three p.m. at the Catherine La Mesa Catherine Chapel. Mesa Chapel yeah. Yeah. Two of uh, Fugos exactly. Church International. It's just in the uh, environment of the ICGC Community Tour. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen. I've seen the place. Yes, just so by the roadside. That's right. As we wrap up, any final thing you want to add? And then uh, to all your members, to so even those who don't yes. think. Uh, full gospel. When we talk about the environment, uh, it concerns everybody, okay. even those in the womb. <laughs> mm, <yeah. laughs> because recently we had uh, in the Galamsey environment. Yeah, children are being affected. Exactly. Yeah, like, so, mm. so the environment affects everybody, even mm. from the womb. So it will not be targeted at specific people to come. Mm. If you can find your way to Full Gospel Church International Committee 12, that is the Katrina Mensa Chapel. You are welcome, 3 p.m., 28th, which is Sunday afternoon. And um, we will want all to join us. Okay. Listen to the professionals, those who understand better mm. how we can protect our environment. Okay. And then also, we we'll want to encourage everybody to take the year we are entering 2024 very serious. Mm. It's an election year. Mm. And we don't enter 2024 to decide how we want things to be in the country. Sure. Because we are dealing with human beings. Yeah. So right from this moment, six months into the new year, we will encourage everybody to be very careful with the things we see mm. when we are together on air and making sure that we, we, we come to understand that Ghana is all we have. And we must be careful how we handle the issues of politics in the country. Okay. Many countries have gone down the drain and have been affected, they are there as an example unto us. We cannot repeat it. So we must be very careful going into the new year, the election year, and making sure that at the end of the day, Ghana wins. Yeah, at the end of the day, Ghana wins. <laughs> uh, that's it from right, Reverend Dela Fiagome, the president of the Full Gospel Church International, talking to us about this memorial lecture happening on Sunday, 28th May, in Tema, come to tour Full Gospel Church International the branch there 3 p.m. But come join them and uh, let's let's talk about the environment. Thank you very much, sir, Thank you. for coming.